You know, our pillars at Boys and Girls Club of Metro South align with the National Boys and Girls Club movement. And we have three succinct pillars in regards to the freight farm operation. The first obviously being food relief and hunger efforts. We know that many of the communities around our country and here locally in Massachusetts are food deserts. And the reality of it is, is uh, it's expensive to eat healthy produce, very expensive. But the reality for our organization is we are equipped with people who are eager to make that happen for communities. So that, that food relief part is number one. Number two is education. It's so important for our young people to understand uh, how a plant grows, where our food comes from, and we're equipped to do it because Boys and Girls Clubs nationally have been positioned around education and helping young people to achieve a great future. And the reality for our organization is we, are, we have the, the talent and the skills and the young minds that walk through our doors every day, whether that's the six-year-old putting his first seed in our freight farm, to our teams who are harvesting and packing it to send it out to our partners in the community. Lastly is volunteerism. We know that volunteerism in our country has taken a, a significant uh, change in direction. And, and volunteerism is hard today because of the challenges that so many people are faced with, with you know, keeping up with working and raising a family. And, and volunteerism, unfortunately, sometimes falls by the wayside. But what better way to ensure that our young people and the community have a way to be part of the equation? And it's through volunteering in our freight farms. So I believe between education, volunteerism, and food relief, we're solving a complex problem right at a local level.